All right, so this is White Wing up in Legend Trail. Three bedroom, two bath, 2,100 plus square feet. We'll set 339 back into the golf course. Um, completely mint condition. I'm gonna span around to show you. One of the nice features coming out of your driveway and front door is you get this wash across the way, so there's no homes right in the immediate front or back of your house. And then you also have a pretty decent size wash to the right of your home just for a little added privacy. So I'm going to come over here and show you the nice separation between the houses and then right behind it is the golf course. So we'll go through the home right now. All right, so you enter and you can see everything's been redone. This is move-in ready, turnkey, everything's been updated. It's vacant. It's got nice flooring, neutral colors. All blinds are in. Tile, it's bigger tile and it's got kind of the tumbled stone look but it's uh, neutral enough where you don't need to change it out. A decent great room and kitchen. So I'm going to show you the kitchen counters which is nice. Granite. Darker cabinetry. You could stand to add some cabinets there. Maybe another whole section. Uh, but you're right, there's not a lot of cabinets. Alright, so then you get three bedrooms all on this side, which you've, you have an office really with that you can make into a, you know, use a Murphy bed. Uh, new, new carpet. So we've got bedroom one. It's actually three bedrooms plus the den, so that is not considered one of the bedrooms. And then you can see that uh, bedroom number two. They've really done all the upgrades. And you've got um, laundry room. Let me show you the garage. Yeah, it's a garage. <laughs> Pretty simple garage. Not, it's actually not a very big garage at all. But um, it's a standard two-car garage. So you've got bedroom one. You got bathroom number two right here. So you can see the upgrades on the bathroom. And then bedroom number three. It's a little narrow, but nice. With a walk-in closet. So nice little section of the house down here and then we'll go to the master. But I do like what they did with the den and office and put double doors, French doors in. And then you got the master. I'll show you the bathroom. You walk into the bathroom. Huge walk-in closet. And then I'll show you the bathroom. So they redid all the countertops, put in all new countertops, brushed nickel fixtures on most everything, kind of cheaped out on the shower doors. That's easily replaceable though. So that's the master. Master backs to the backyard and golf course. So kind of span the whole area for you to get the layout. <clears throat> then, my favorite part of the house, in addition to the fact that you don't have to do anything, is a very private backyard. It's a golf course behind, but huge separation and wash, so there's no golf carts coming right up against your house, which, when you're on a golf course, I always thought it was actually less private and nice separation on the west side. View fencing, so you still get that feel of the depth, but without the maintenance of it. Nice big mesquite tree right here, give you some shade. Easily able to do more build-ins build as far as barbecue. I'm not sure if this is a gas fireplace. I don't know if it is. Easily uh, build that up and do a beehive fireplace, chairs, 
and then I'll uh, span around so you can see kind of the backyard. And if you were to put a pool in, not that you would, that's what it would look like. So uh, I love the way the house sits for privacy, even the fact that the patio is on this side of the house as opposed to the other side, closer to the wash. I think that was smart design. Some really nice views. I like it. It's a nice looking house. Hope that helps you out.